It's been two decades since he was last seen in the flesh. Yet all that know his name knows his face. Now, after all these years, he has finally returned. Welcome back, Jedi Bob. Hello everyone, MSW here, and today we are looking at the LEGO Star Wars set number 75388, Jedi Bob's Starfighter. The set was launched in August of 2024, retails for $39.99 USD and has 305 pieces, and also comes with three minifigures. Let's get into it. Before we get into the review, I'm just letting you all know, this set did release before the LEGO special Rebuild the Galaxy that's releasing on September 13th. This means that in terms of reviewing this set, in terms of accuracy, I mean, yeah, we can look at the set and look at the trailer and be like, yeah, it's accurate to that, but there's not really a canon, like, official Star Wars canon thing. So that's going to be a little different. In terms of the characters that appear in this set and what they're deal is with the plot of the show we really don't know so there's not going to be a whole lot of canon accuracy to compare it to moving right along we get into the building process of the set it's a simple build nothing too complicated the set is rated for building ages eight and up and i think that's a relatively decent age for someone trying to build this set makes perfect sense there is some technic involved to get the nice angles which is appreciated the one weird thing i will say about this and i don't know if it's accurate for everyone is when i opened the box one piece was out of a bag and just in the box it kind of made me think i had lost a piece because i expected the other piece to also be out of the box but that was like in the bag so that was a little odd made me think i had lost a piece or something like that Luckily, it just happened to be in the bag, and I don't know if they were trying to separate the pieces or what. Again, your mileage may vary. If your set didn't do that, please let me know. But it was just very odd. Moving on to the minifigures, let's just get the simple stuff out of the way. First, we have Servo. It's a gonk droid. The design is similar to most modern gonk droids LEGO has made in recent years. They do have a fun color scheme, and they also do have a few extra details and bits on the top. The one thing I wish was better would be the feet so they can actually be placed on studs. This isn't a huge issue though, and it's also an issue that has been seen in many of the gonk droids in recent years, so it's not something that I'm blaming this set necessarily for. Next we have the Akbar Trooper. It's the clone body from the 2024 battle pack with an Akbar head. It also includes a blaster for defending itself. Obviously the trailer shows and instead of the Django being the base for the clones, it's Admiral Akbar. I'm sure it'll be classic Lego humor. As for the minifigure itself, I think it was put in more for playability. You gotta have an enemy to fight in a Star Wars set, you just, you just have to. Speaking of enemy to fight, it's a perfect segue to the main minifigure of this set, Jedi Bob. Lego has finally brought him back after all these years. And in the first time ever of making these videos, we're gonna have a segment called History Time. Could also technically be the last time I own any of these segments, because. History time in Lego is not that common. For those of you that might be unaware, and I know it's going to be a minority, Jedi Bob was an unofficial name for the Jedi Knight that appeared in the 2002 Republic gunship set. He was just a Jedi with a then common Lego face, nothing fancy, but he slowly became kind of an icon for Lego Star Wars. Whether the name Bob was given to him by the fans or Lego remains kind of unclear in my personal research. However, by 2009, Lego did make it official by using the name vaguely in the first Lego Star Wars Visionary Dictionary. Oh my gosh. More official by using the name kind of vaguely in the first ever Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary. He's been an icon for years and it's so great to see him come back again not just in a set, but also in a show that LEGO is making because it's all about that classic LEGO humor and it just makes perfect sense. And that's history time. Back to the minifigure. The minifigure is what you'd expect, an updated version of the Jedi Knight from all those years ago. He does include both the classic smiling face while also having a new, more focused expression 
Based on the trailer, I'm sure that expression comes into play a lot. It's nice that they gave us that classic look, but also gave us a new look depending on how people want to play with this minifigure. The legs appear to be the same leg as before, but just in LEGO's updated color scheme. His torso is still the gray robes, though there appears to be dirt on the front. Not sure if it's meant to be dirt or if it's trying to show that he's an older minifigure like they did with Benny in the LEGO movie and his chipped helmet. Either way, it's a nice little design and it does keep that figure kind of separate from the classic 2002 figure, which means for those that find it important to the value of that original Lego Bob figure still hold its value. I love that they kept the classic hood piece instead of using the new hood piece that they've been using in recent years. It makes him more recognizable and just, again, it's that classic Jedi Bob look that we're come to expect. And of course, he comes with a green lightsaber, same color as he did in the original set. Overall, in terms of a modern Jedi Bob, you can't really go wrong here. I think Lego did a fantastic job, and I'm just so excited that we have that figure in a set now. Speaking of fantastic jobs, the build. I'm actually really happy with Bob's Starfighter. It looks amazing. Swoosh Factor is a perfect 10 out of 10. It's a starfighter. It feels good in the hand. It's just great. I don't know what else to say. It feels really fun to swish it around. There you go. <laughs> I also love that they updated the design to remove the stupid gap that appeared in Obi-Wan's starfighter. It's not perfect. There's still a tiny bit in the front that you can see, but compared to the massive gash in Obi-Wan's starfighter, it looks 10 times better. Speaking of looks, I love the color scheme. There isn't too much red that it's an eyesore, but at the same time, there is just enough that it makes it stand out against the white. It just, it looks great. I also love that it takes inspiration from Anakin's custom Starfighter and adds the two engines to the front. It isn't as over the top as Anakin's is, but it definitely makes it stand out and make it a bit more unique compared to the other Starfighters we've got. Yes, there are a few details that do require stickers, but overall, the set just looks amazing. And the best part, the play features in this set don't ruin the look and also don't take a back seat. You of course have the open seat for Bob to sit in and there's small landing gear on the bottom for the ship. Also on the bottom there are two clips to hold his lightsaber and extra ammo for the spring loaded shooters which I think look so much better than the stupid stud shooters that go on the top of the wings. That in my opinion really ruins the smooth aesthetic of the Jedi Starfighter and having those stud shooters on the bottom feels so much better. The one feature that I feel like is a little unnecessary is the cover on the top. It's simple storage, nothing crazy, but it's for lunch? Another thing I'm sure we'll find out in the show and it will explain it all, but for now, you get a banana and a carton of blue milk. Congratulations. <laughs> Overall, this set is probably one of my favorite sets in recent years. And the funniest part is that it's not even a canon set. The price of $40 makes sense and it's reachable to most people, which is just great. I personally hate it when Lego makes something that is hard to get because of the price. And so a $40 set means it's definitely more widespread to a lot more audiences. The build itself is super solid. I feel like it's a great ship to swoosh around and it also looks amazing to just put on display. Yes, there are some parts that feel kind of like extra stuff that's just meant to be there, but with the iconic story around Jedi Bob, along with bringing him back for what I'm sure is going to be a fun, stupid humor in the best way Lego Star Wars miniseries, I cannot recommend this set enough, not only for it just being a fun, solid build for a great price, but also for those that just been into the theme and the brand and just really know how special Jedi Bob is. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Comment down below how you feel about this set. Do you agree with my takes? Is it the best? Could it be better? I want to know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more LEGO content. Thank you all again for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you in the next one. Take care.